hi everyone hope you all are doing really well and now uh, i think oh a banking domain uh, project review and this is the project uh, uh, you know explanation about the banking domain and yes there were some interview questions as well uh, which is coming up i know i'm late but i think this is the most important video uh, wherein i'll be collecting a lot of stuffs and you know discussing with a lot of people and then i put it into the slide so that takes time so yeah moving ahead with the first slide so uh, you know we understand uh, we will be going through a lot of things into this uh, you know in the banking domain but initially like let's go from the scratch probably you see this slide at the very like you should start seeing this slide at the very first thing and then i have another uh, you know another video you can go ahead with that but this is very basics of banking systems how banking system works and exactly you know these these kind of answers they can expect from you because you have to understand the core of it so when when i say banking domain i have told you many times if you really don't have a core experience of it you don't understand the basic of banking domain there is no means of having you to you know to go into the banking domain organization because it's become very difficult for you as well as for the team members also to work with you because you don't understand how uh, you know the how the system and the mechanism of the banking system works and that's create a problem for you and and a lot of struggle so it, it's okay if you have not worked on because many people have worked on they don't have they don't get the architecture of it but you can study right so i think this video will help you out in that thing so bank management system there are different components okay uh, you know every the components of bank management system may differ dip, depending on the bank right? okay but generally the system include uh, includes core banking to manage basic transactions loans mortgages and payment okay these are the things which every bank does have it right so accessible via atm mobile banking and branches and other component that may include our crm systems risk management systems hrs management systems and the business intelligence systems i think most of the things most of the bank does have these things because if you see the atm the credit card and the debit card system and their mechanism of working are the same so maybe their policies are different maybe their rewards things are different but uh, the the way they'll be working out it's same way right so the system requirements why uh, you know this what all system required for the banking management systems okay the requirement for bank management systems provide a complete descriptions of the system behavior and are based on the business expectations the functioning of the system must also comply with the law and the regulatory act of the country in the united states for example consumer financial protection bureau and uh, bureau and federal reserve board and federal deposit insurance corporation and financial crimes enforcement enforcement so network are the institutions that govern banking activities the key requirement that need to be offered by the bank management system can be classified into functions and the non functional requirements see so there are you will because that whole system involves the money so there will be lots of rules and regulations where we have to stick about it and because the frauds are happening day to day and what all uh, you know we are taking care of to in avoid because we do have that a lot of frauds happens and we have come up with the otp systems now people have come up with the otps as well how those monies can be they were lost from the bank side as well how the person can retrieve their money like for example there were um there are transactions right which happen by mistake if you transact the uh, amount into another account and then you go and complain so there will be a law and if bank or bank are following those laws and now so there are a lot of you know forums are there wherein uh, you know these people are monitoring if, like bank is performing because they are private banks also and uh, you know the, and there will be you know uh, everything cannot be seen by police or everything right so there will be some uh, there will be some you know bureau or uh, like uh, what 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 i say there will be some governance for the bank as well wherein um, they get um, uh they should be following the law and they will be monitoring those things so under the requirements can be uh, the bank systems can be classified so there will be functional and the non functional requirements so in the bank also there were a lot of non functional things as well wherein you do manually stuffs when you fill the forms and do the things right so that will be like more of non functional stuff when you uh, will see what all is there okay so this is this is i have made it guys so what all uh, you know the systems are there okay so uh, if you work on any of the organizations right so you you will be seeing a bank maybe in a one place you will be having everything right 
so you know like if if you go in a bank in, in you have some uh, what would we say you have in a one you know uh, there will be a uh, sections divided for account sections probably you will be going for withdrawal you will be going for your uh, repos uh, withdrawal money for your deposit money and then you will be going for your uh, um, there will be different rd rd rows or something is there right withdrawal everything is different when you have to go for account opening you have to go to the different person when you have to go for fds you have to go to the different persons and different persons will be doing all those things the one person right so they will be filling something into the systems right so those are system what it is there is applications so account management is one application there's one team involved in account management those are working on app account management they're developing the account management um, the ui front end and the back end and there are testers who test test those account management system every day in day out because why they have to test it every time because there are new functionality may be enabled about like for example there will be different kind of accounts as well so we really need to test every day and there will be some updates or also there right so there will be different account like saving account current account and there are a lot of the salary increments and the most of the things happens right and the most important part okay uh, I'll, I'll tell you later the account management systems has uh, the account person has the debit card credit card either those notifications are going or not if spires or whatever it is linked with that account they will be checking it out but yes there will be different like fund transfer and the card management system only thing is with this account management you will be able to see the active or inactive status of the debit card not the how debit card works like what is the functionality inside that uh, expiry date cvv how how card works out uh, swipe in and everything will be seen under card section so that card or also because the card validation there were a lot of validation has to be done into the card so those validations are also done by the some card management team there will be fund transfer team so they will be like keep on uh, checking there will be a lot of performance testing happening into the fund transfers because every day every minute again some or other person is transferring the amount and that should be smooth and functional there will be a lot of apis involved so those apis are functional or not those a uh, fund transfer team uh, like as a as a software engineer or as a testers we have to check those apis probably then inter internet banking comes up so there are a lot of things we will be doing through internet banking so there will be people who will be seeing those e internet banking as an e-commerce application probably in the bank application where this is the e not sorry e-commerce this is a, a, a ui application the web page application wherein mobile banking and uh, internet banking is in, is in web page application so wherein you will be involving with a lot of activities so you will be having all those things you will be checking it out probably your response and all all those apis are working and fine or not you can check it through apis as well because uh, i think um, they might have developed uh, the ui on the basis of AI, apis so you can check the apis uh, with, with different kind of inputs and output i think that that way also they have developed it so depends on the how they have developed it that is uh, because yeah everything is developed through api so there will be a lot of functioning you have to check it through api because in bank there are a lot of stuff so you cannot have um you you cannot rely on only the ui validations you can do it through apis as well there will be account details sections like there, there are a lot of account management account details are the same and there are online payments so uh, people are doing it through check or everywhere right the, the fund transfer through checks and everything like the people will send the money through still in india people people don't most of the people i think 30% or 40% does not use the um, online methods they will be doing a offline methods wherein they go to the bank and they perform the functions so th there's a different mechanism involved into that because you are not doing through via api or their own accounts you will be doing via bank so that is also some procedures to do it okay so that is also is there then we have atm mobile banking in the uk so all those systems are working fine or not that is also the bank part has to bank is a very huge things and there are a lot of things has been involved in bank so it, it's a one part of bank okay there's a deposit savings fd term and nift those are the payments we have to check it on the daily basis and a lot of performance testing has to be done so i think in the banking application performance testing is a very much uh, importance because there are a lot of tra transactions happening at the same time so we really need to check all the apis are working fine or not if you want i can share this image with you guys uh, 
if you uh, if you want these whole stuff kindly ping me right now because i don't know uh, i cannot keep this light for the longer period of time and uh, yeah if you ask me right now i can help you out uh, right now i can share it with you but if you ask me after 2 years or 3 years uh, it's not possible for me to keep it safe so yeah now functional requirement as i told told you in the very first slide what is a functional and the non functional requirements so functional requirement describe the service that a banking management system must offers they are subdivided into three three access level admin mode tailor mode and the customer mode so there are admin right who has all the rights to see everyone's accounts and everything so those are the admin rights we say so customers uh, sign in with login Like the customers mode, like we can sign in with login, password, update personal details, change password, view balance, view personal history of transactions, transfer money, withdraw, and submit cash. I think these are the things. Uh, if you have worked on it, you will be knowing these things verbally. You don't need to remember these things. So if you are planning for the banking interview, these are the things you really need. You know, so what comes under functional requirements? So these are the things you really need to know. Sign in with login password, change password, register new bank customers, view customer informations, and manage customer accounts. Okay, so these are tailor like who who works. Oh, this is also the customer mode, I think. Yeah, customer mode. Register new bank customer. Okay, so I think uh, sign in with login password, change password. I think this is the uh uh I think the bank executive can help you out. Uh. admin a uh, sign in with login and password they can give you the otp right they can help you with the password change and view customer information manage customer accounts okay admin is um, a sign in with login and password view manager and customer details uh, details both the managers and the customer details admin can see it admin has all the access add or update bank branch details add or update manager details yes but ad admin does not have that right to transfer the money from one account to another account okay or use that money because i think we have that um, whole uh, like we have now otps and the customer can handle everything from their own only thing is uh, even if they have issues they don't be having those access uh, to that so that's when that law comes in so those laws has been defined by those bureaus and all that bank cannot access the customer informations without their permissions or even even if you have the permissions you cannot use it right it's a fraud okay so how bank management system work in this is the this is a great picture so uh, as i told uh, like badge management system customer view account informations manage money manage funds okay withdraw transfer deposit loan even even you know when you go to uh, some bank executive and if you are giving some details to withdraw the money from your account right so with your details they, they'll give withdraw the account details with all the signatures and all and give it to you they will transfer the money they will deposit the money and they will give you the loan as well okay this is the bank executive okay and then there is the admin comes in they will log in log out view customer information manage customer account for example open a customer account close customers account bank, block customers accounts manage workers manage branch information so these are the admin roles i can these are the this is a very architectural diagram and this is very useful if you want i can share it with you this one as well so the process now account management system so uh, in account management system uh, in this customer can access all the service offered by the bank by adding his details okay by adding his detail as the customer avails any services as transactions or a loan then require data flows to transaction management system or the loan management system respectively any customer can print the activity status of the account which fetches information from all the available databases using generate customer report system right and then transaction management systems it helps the customers to add and transfer money to another account the cashier may execute or help the execution process on behalf of the bank where where the bank updates all the corresponding details related to the customer following a successful transactions okay there is a transaction management system right i the cashier may execute as i told the bank executive can help you into that loan management system this is all i have already explained explained it in the earlier slide i think so that's the reason i'm just reading it out and helping you out with the correct english words so that this is the sent definition that can help you in explanations so it is used by the customer to apply or a request a loan from the bank and the manager can access the loan details or database to either accept or deny the request for the loan based on your i think um, your credit limit or uh, what is that there's some points right you will be getting 
so based on those points and based on your background check uh, they will be accepting or accepting and they, they, that is also that then they will be doing it with your pan card details or probably your aadhar card details they will be checking about everything and then what are documents you have given it they will be doing certain validations probably some some they will be doing it manually and some they will be doing it through systems and yeah the bank has the access to modify the loan management system as the bank can set or modify any policy of the loan offered by the bank right so they will be adjusting because after 5 years if something comes up so they will be adding it up or maybe you know the interest rate may increase or decrease right but the, the the calculation has been done based on the amount has been there okay whatever amount is left over they will be then the interest interest may increase or decrease based on uh, on the basis of on the amount left in your uh, you know loan loan repayment online banking system and it provides other services like insurance bill payments etc okay functions of bank what functions bank does okay acceptance of deposits from the public provide demand withdrawal facility these are the words that is very needed for you lending facilities transfer of funds issues of drafts provide customer with locker facilities dealing with foreign ex exchange i think these are the things which uh, banks perform so if someone asks you these are the function they are expecting you to see what should uh, test in banking domain application what should we should test banking workflows data integrity issues i said performance issues performance testing is a very must security and the access issues recovery testing if somebody something is lost how you can recover those things for example a uh, user forget the passwords and how they can recover the passwords those are the flows you really need to test it up all the above needs to be tested in the expected banking environment hardware lan op system domain com configurations the databases are also needs to be updated there were certain teams has been involved in database testing because there are a lot of da data has been involved into the banking database system what are the multiple software testing techniques involved in now it's come to the interview questions so these are the one questions that you may have the answers of um, you don't go with the questions but these are the knowledge you can acquire and that can help you in any of the answer of your interview question uh, okay if you talk talk about testing banking applications it requires an end to end testing methodology to involve multiple software testing technique to ensure uh to ensure total coverage of all banking workflows business requirements functional aspect of an application security aspect of the application data integrity and concurrency in order to test a uh, banking and financial application service application tester should be detailed oriented able to think of use cases or scenarios that negative test cases that lead to enormous transactions of fraud the tester should be well versed with the domain understanding on financially and banking rules and regulations rbi guidelines on how financial industry is regulated so these are the knowledge very really need, needful for you you really need to update it with the rbi guideline and those guidelines has to be followed and that's i think them if you are working with um, those insurance domains and all those really need to have those guide you really need to update with the rbi guidelines uh we we come to end and thank you guys thanks for watching and i think this is a great video if you want me to make part 2 of it um this is the basic of it i think that is really help you as i have another videos of banking domain so i request you to watch that thing again and that will really help you in understanding more of that understanding and uh, yeah so don't forget to like subscribe and share so uh, i request you to guys uh, make it uh, 5k probably we i am into 4.8k so help me into 5k yeah so thank you so much